Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making a delicious lemon mushroom chicken thigh dish. So first we're going to go ahead and get our chicken thighs seasoned and placed into some olive oil on medium high and we are going to sear them till they get a beautiful nice brown on them. Just FYI, these uh, chicken thighs are seasoned with my um, seasoning, which is a uh, phenomenal food by Chef Holly's uh, Essential Seasoning, which you can also order from me on my Instagram at Phenomenal Food Catering. Okay, so after we get those nice and browned and turned over on each side, we're going to take them out when they're about halfway done. So we're talking about maybe seven to eight minutes here. And we're just going to rest them on the side. They're not completely done right now. You don't want them to be completely done because we're going to cook them uh, later. Uh, so now we're going to put about a fourth a cup of diced onions. And I think I did like eight uh, pieces of garlic shaved. And I added a pinch of thyme and just a tiny pinch of salt because I seasoned those um, chicken thighs really well. We're going to add a couple of uh, sprigs of fresh tarragon to that nice bit. And just FYI, I did pour off any uh, excess grease that I had left over. We're going to add some mushrooms, about uh, half a pound of mushrooms. Portobello's is what I use, but you can use whatever you like in there. And we're just going to saute that. And then we're going to place our thighs back inside the vegetable mixture. Remember, our thighs are only halfway cooked, but they are so juicy and so good. And we are going to submerge them in a second in some chicken broth, which is going to keep them even more juicier as they finish cooking. So all our vegetables are in. We are now going to put in just enough chicken broth to come up to a little over halfway up those chicken thighs because they're pretty much you know, 65% cooked, but we're going to get them all the way now by adding this liquid in there. And after the liquid is filled up enough, we're just going to remove things around a little bit just to make sure that everything is good and submerged. Like I said, you don't want to cover the chicken. You just want to bring it almost all the way up, kind of like when you're braising. We're going to add the top on there, and we're going to let that go on medium high for about 15 minutes. Um, you could do about 10 minutes because, I mean, it's not going to take too long once they're boiling, kind of like. Um, all right, so then we're going to take the top off and we're going to wave some of that heat off so that y'all can get a better picture of what's going on right here. And now that those thighs are done, we're going to pull them out and put them on the side just for a second so we can get our sauce together. Now we're going to take leave the top off of our um, sauce and we're going to let everything just kind of cook together and cook down. These are some Brussels sprouts that we're actually going to be eating with our chicken. Once everything cooks down to about a sec, which is almost dry, we're going to add in about a cup and a half of heavy cream, heavy whipped cream. Mix that in really well. And you don't really, like I said, have to re-season this because I seasoned those thighs really well. If you season the thighs ahead of time really well, you don't need to. That was about a fourth a cup of fresh lemon juice that I added to the cream. It's going to add a nice tang. Sometimes I use white wine, but I add the white wine way ahead of time before the last part, like I did with the lemon juice. We're going to stir that in a bit. We're going to put our chicken thighs back in just so they can get nice and coated in that heavy cream sauce. And we're going to allow that heavy cream sauce to reduce again until it's about nappe, which means coating the back of a spoon. I like mine normally a little bit thicker than nappe, but nappe is good. Um, then I'm just going to add a couple of globs of butter in there just to finish off my sauce because I think putting butter in the end is better. You can actually turn it off from here right now. Um, uh, the butter just gives it a nice sheen and just puts like a nice velvetiness on your dish. And then if you can just add in whatever fresh tarragon you have left. Tarragon has a nice licorice flavor that goes really well with chicken and really well with lemon juice or lemon. And we're just going to bathe those beautiful chicken thighs in that nice creamy, lemony, tarragon-y, yummy sauce. And we are going to get ready to plate that on top of our roasted Brussels sprouts that I roasted off while I was cooking this. So there are our Brussels sprouts. Let's go ahead now and get us a nice piece of chicken thigh and lay it right up on top of those Brussels sprouts. And we're gonna get a nice scooping 
of that sauce as well and pour right on over top of that chicken. I'm a saucy person. I like a lot of sauce, so I pour a lot of sauce on top of mine. So let's get another nice little glub glub of that sauce. It's so delicious, so juicy, so good. Yum. All right, so that's it. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, Chef Holly 33 here.